All right, we're back at it. It is 25 degrees, January 14th. I do believe it's 14th. Yep, 14th. Ten forty a.m. Says we're going to be at this place in four minutes. Got to pick up our uh, twelve thousand pounds worth of plastic and take it to Knoxville, Tennessee. And it snowed a lot in between here and there. Right here is not. You know they had a dusting. Same with New Jersey. Yeah, you know, we just got a little dusting. Evidently, when we get farther south into the hills, they got quite a bit of snow. Well, the road should be clear. We'll check that out when we get there. On a positive note, after we centered all the rotating mass on this truck, it's a hell of a lot better. Yeah, I'm digging it. Go figure, center the wheels. I mean, it still rides like a like a truck cuz it's a truck. It's a truck that can hold 80,000 pounds even though I don't like to do that. It can. So we're on Street Road in the north side of Philadelphia. This is one of those loads that's listed as uh, Philadelphia, so nobody wants to do it. But if you're up on the northeast, not a big deal. Yeah, you get out in the center city. Yeah, no good, no good. That's a no-fly zone. So this place should be coming up here. Uh, still saying two miles. But golf course is covered in snow. Golf course is this. So the plan was to stay out for two or three weeks, but as it turns out, graduating from uh, college with her master's degree. I think she's continuing on. So she's going to walk on Saturday. It's Monday. So I need to be back here Friday. Yeah, I'm not going to miss that. You miss a lot of things working. And I'm not missing that. some loads booked because I forgot all about the graduation so I'm a scatterbrain sometimes so I canceled the uh, I canceled canceled those loads well, I kept this one and I canceled the following loads I'm almost going to Ohio and Ohio to Texas and Sorry, Pale Rider, man. I just can't get to Texas. It just won't work out. And I think what I'm going to do is there's a shipper in South Carolina, or 
yeah, I guess it's South Carolina. That's a 24-hour shipper shipper that goes back up into Pennsylvania. That's uh, it's, they're light loads and it's guaranteed. And it's good money. It's over two bucks a mile. It's a three-hour deadhead though over the mountains. You gotta go through the gorge on 40 from Knoxville to get there but I think uh, I think I'll book one of them weather the end of this week so and where that load drops off is in the mountains the mountain mountains of Pennsylvania which all summer long isn't a big deal all right we're heading back into the city on street road when you're driving a... Approaching destination in a half mile on the right side. All right, honey. When you're uh, driving a stick shift truck in traffic, yeah, you better have a strong left leg. However, we're empty, so it's not that bad. And actually, the load we're picking up is light, so it's not going to be that bad had that load like we did in the last video we're going up eight percent grades and there's a light about every quarter mile and we're hitting every one an automated truck would be a lot better Google Maps it looks like it's kind of uh, kind of interesting they made a big turnaround for the truck so you can get into their dock you have arrived at your destination on the right side 50 W Street Road PA 132 so we'll check it out let's check it out and receiving. Keep going. Shipping and receiving. Keep going. Sweet. Shipping and receiving. There it is. Alright, be right back. Alright, 
got a door. Got the trailer doors open. He says back in the door three. That's door three. Sweet. I love this big turnaround area. Nice. Holy. Hey, that's my bus. Wish I owned that company. this in one shot. A little tight up here. That will cut it. Just to her perfectly straight. We could have made that, but we'd have been sitting in the dock a little, a hair cocked. Just a little bit. We don't want to be that guy. Some loads out while I'm waiting. Yeah, we'll go from there. No engine idling. Hmm. 
Yeah, we'll turn the APU on. All right, check back a little bit. We're all picked up. 12,000 pounds worth of uh, paper products, according to Buddy at the shipper. So we left Philadelphia. We're on the PA Turnpike, and we're going to stop at this rest area for a second. A couple little things to do. Get a drink. going to try to go all the way down to Refine, Virginia. There's a truck stop there that holds like 600 trucks. You've seen it in my videos before. Been there a bunch of times. But I think what I'm going to do is just go to Greencastle. Because, you know, we're in a hurry, right? We're not stopping for long, so. All right. See you in a minute. All right. I think we're going to call it a day in Greencastle at this TA. There's a TA. Because they have a country pride or an iron skillet. I'm not sure which one is in this one. Either way, They've got the sirloin. Yeah. So we're going to get the sirloin with sauteed mushrooms and onions. No potato, no bread. And a vegetable. Probably steamed broccoli. Salad bar. That's the plan. See if we can get a parking spot. It's still pretty early. It's only quarter to four. I have to take a break in an hour and 40 minutes. to leave buddy
lots of paved parking spots. Uh, there's tons of spots. Tons, I tell you. so we don't have to do a blind side maneuver. Let's park. I don't know what this guy's doing, but you damn sure ain't making that, buddy. Here, we're gonna catch this right on camera. Let's get up here. Oh, uh, maybe. See how lucky we get. All kinds of spots, man. Okay, we'll come right in here by Hellwig. kinds of room on the other side because there's nobody there and we're gonna need it you have it, some days you don't. careful not to hit this trailer back there because he's backed up way too far and and 
let's go look. This fucking asshole might be in our way and we gotta move. Yeah, the line's way up there, buddy. up against one line then you look in the other mirror and you're not even close the friggin lines are crooked needs a fuel quality valve or a fuel quantity valve about 700 bucks 
for that and replace that or the whole fuel pump but if you listen to them half the, half the Detroit's in the friggin parking lot sound like that half the trucks in the truck stop sound like that alright so don't forget to like, share, subscribe check out ProvostMotorsports.com Provost Motorsports on Facebook and hit that little bell so you'll be notified every time I put up a video. And I've been putting up a lot lately, so till next time.